we're going to worm Rusty today with Ivermec, liquid Ivermec. And the way we do that is as you are watching, we get them in a corner there with lasso or with halter. We do one cc per 110 pounds. Rusty's about 600 pounds. We get the Ivermec liquid in a vial using a needle and then spread it along his spine. And we are done. So now we're gonna go get Susie and do the same thing. Can you stop the camera for a moment? I'm gonna try to uh, get Susie in here before we let Rusty back in with it. Okay, here we are ready to lasso Susie. And we're going to worm her with Ivermec liquid and also clip her front toes. So she's going into a shelter I have for her, so I'm going to just walk in. I have a small loop here. She's usually pretty gentle, as you can see. Now I'm going to lead her out, much like you lead a dog. Good girl, Susie. And we're going to come out here in the open. Susie is not usually chargy. She's not usually stressed, not anymore. Is this a good place to put the Avermec on her back? I'll move out a little bit, make that a little bit easier. So I'm just applying a little bit of pressure with the Lariat. Come on, Susie. Good girl, Susie. Come on, Susie. Very nice. All right. And if you could show the, uh, the syringe, that's uh, enough for about a 500 pound miniature Zebu. Uh, and that's a uh, one cc per 110 pounds as prescribed by the veterinarian. Okay, she uh, felt the, uh, the syringe across her back. That but it's not injected. It's not injected, it's just uh, pour, on. Uh, pour it on. But we use a needle to pull it out of the ivermic bottle. Okay, now her toes are a little bit curled up. So we're going to take our clippers and clip them. We still have Rusty corralled up in the 12 by 12 corral where we wormed him. And he is uh, inside of Susie, so he's not upset. Yeah, you know, the camera's looking here, so you either move back or I'll move the camera. Move the camera. We only have two crew members today. We usually do best if we have four. So we're just doubling up on uh, chores responsibilities. The camera is now being moved to where we're standing. And can you uh, show Rusty? Bring her up here oh, okay. because I can't so see her feet. Bring her up, but can you turn around and show Rusty where he is? Close enough, calmly in his 12 by 12 corral made up of steel portable panels. Come on, Susie. Good girl, Susie. Good girl. All back right, I'm so going to move back a little bit. Come on. Now, Susie has horns. They're not as as thick and as long as Rusty's. Come on, Susie. Very good. We have ground-driven Susie. We've led her with a halter, but today, for the purpose of doing these maintenance items, and that is worming and uh, clipping, I'm just using the Lariat for simplicity. Come on, Susie. Come on. We've taught her to pick her up to her feet. Come on, Susie. to uh, use something to steady her. She's being a little bit spooky. I think it'd be better if you turn the camera this way. And I'm going to put my lariat around this post so that I have a little bit of leverage. And we're going to clip here. It's easier to move the camera to the Zebu than to move the Zebu to the camera. Again, it's been a few months since we've done this. It's all right, Susie. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold her on her collar as well. See if we can lift her legs, which uh, about a week ago we easily lifted her legs for other reasons. She wasn't afraid. Good. We're desensitizing her, rubbing her all over her front legs. She's got a weight on this one, so that's kind of Very nice, Susie. There we go. We're just using clippers that are sharp, new, that we got from a garden shop. So you see, we haven't had to bulldog her, we haven't had to tranquilize her, and we're doing her maintenance items. It's all right, Susie. We've clipped Rusty as well in the past in a similar manner, and we have the camera footage, but his uh, front toes aren't uh, quite as long and slightly curled as our Susie, so I don't think he's going to be due for a clipping, although we will double check. Good girl. Here we go, Susie. Got my hand here between her horns. We're doing the... Be big, the desensitizing as we go on our shoulder. Then we have to lift. We may have to move to the other side. No, looks like this is going to work. Now we're clipping her right front. All right, Susie. Still on the search for some better clippers. Because their hooves are very, uh, very, uh, rather rubbery. No, tough. 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 So we need some really sharp, scissor like tools. Try to lift her back hooves. She might not cooperate. We've never noticed uh, Susie uh, attempting to kick. So again, I'm Maybe holding her. Okay, we lost her compliance. It's better if you go around twice. twice and I think that what we should do is uh, look down that chain she's going to come in here okay touch her let's see if we can even get her to lift her back hoops a step at a time a step at a time it's what I do with my horses all right we're going to just have to work with her on Lifting back hooves, you see that she's a little bit more difficult there, trying to kick out. Pull away. She's trying to actually pull away. All right, we'll see if we can safely clip. Let's just do a lift and let go. Okay, we're just going to lift and let down. And I've got the lariat now twice around here, so I've got pretty strong connection. I wish I had it around her horns because I want to make sure I don't uh, cause her any stress by choking her. But I can tell okay. by her breathing that she's okay. That's all. And that's all we're going to do today. She's not in dire need of clipping and uh, we now know that we'd better work on that. We work, uh, we train our Zebu's uh, 
maybe three times a week and we'll just make sure we always lift her back leg. Okay, here we are evaluating Rusty's hooves to see if they need trimming. They do not. We're going to show you what, in our opinion, um, are hooves that do not need trimming, uh, neither the front nor the back. And uh, uh, if my cameraman will turn around and look at Susie's front hooves. which have been trimmed just now. Uh, her back hooves uh, don't really need it, but we started to uh, work on picking her back legs up again and realized that we need to desensitize her to that uh, activity. Okay. So we brought the camera closer to Rusty so that you can see his hooves. He still has some leaves around them and I'm gonna suggest that he move around a little bit. And uh, with the zoom, we can show you, now that he's on the rubber mat, his hooves, which in our opinion, uh, do not need trimming today. Uh, we'll check again in a couple months. Now that Susie's out of estrus for the second time around, uh, Rusty's back to normal. We're able to work with him. He's a little bit bullish, but uh, nothing like when Susie's in estrus. And this is the best time um, in between estruses, which is uh, usually gives us about three weeks or so to work with them.